What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest. We got a what, two-time MVP, two-time Finals MVP, um, Defensive Player of the Year, five-time All-Star, two-time NCAA Championship, future Hall of Famer. Let me know if I'm missing anything. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Not a pleasure as ours. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Talk about how, you know, women's sports today, I feel like, it's been at its peak, like higher than ever, as far as like support and people viewing and things like that. So what do you think causes uptick within women's sports? Well, I definitely feel as though it has been a process, a long process. Uh, you look at Title IX was enacted in 1972. So I kind of think it's unique. I'm in the generation where the generation before my mom didn't have the opportunity to even go to school and, you know, earn a scholarship and do things like that. So I think it's just constantly having visibility. Like there's guys now that grew up with moms that played sports. And so I think it's also, it's visibility, it's, pers it's perspective um, and it's your perception. I think if you grow up with someone in that type of role in that environment, then you're gonna support it. And then it's gonna pass down to your daughters and all that. So I think it's just visibility and a lot of people that came before us that opened up doors that we're walking through now. Yeah, for sure. And I think it really helps when, you know, players in the league really support and actually show up to games too. And all that support is genuine as well. So, when, you know, the casual client sees that they're like, all right, cool. Like, if Braun is here or D Wade, I definitely got to start tuning in. So, I think just collectively, when the whole league is just supporting the W, then everybody wins. Yeah, for sure. Everybody wins. Um, it's about support. And we also have to understand it does take time to build something. You know, the, the, the NBA is well into this, but in the early 80s, 90s, I don't know if they knew the direction of where their league would go until, you know, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson came along and kind of changed their trajectory. And then this generation has just completely changed it. So I think in the WNBA, we're 25 years young and we're going to continue to gain more and more fans and, you know, more and more sponsorships and more and more visibility. Definitely. And next question for you is with, uh, Renee Mon Montgomery and two others purchasing the Atlanta Dream, right? So how impactful is that just to the basketball community, knowing, you know, the views of past ownership? Well, I think it's huge when you don't agree with something and you want to make a change. It goes where the decision is made. It's decision makers that make that change. And so when you own something, when you're the one that's, you know, making the decisions, writing the checks, um, determining the direction of of the team then you're able to feel empowered and empower others and so I mean it's tremendous for Renee to go from player straight into owning the team that she used to play for uh, that just speaks volumes to where she is obviously as a businesswoman but also where athletes are to be able to continue to to want more not be satisfied with just you know collecting the check and just figuring out what she's going to do after the game. So it seems like she got that, you know, all down packed and ready to go. So. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. And then, um, so what can people do today to, you know, continue to support and uplift women's sports, whether it's like, you know, going to games, you know, purchasing like jerseys or, you know, you let me know. Honestly, I think all of that is super important, important uh, to progress women's sports. I think visibility is still the most important thing. I want to turn on highlights for games and I don't want the, the women to be stuck into the middle or the end of the show. I want them, their highlights to be valued as well. And so I think it's making that clear. It's fans maybe writing these television stations and demanding that they see more women's sports. Um, but it does go along with buying and supporting initiatives, it goes along with buying women's gear and jerseys and obviously going to games but it also goes with business you know sponsorship that's huge um, in order to to make money you got to invest it and so I think it's an, important for these companies to invest in women's sports definitely and I feel like visibility is a great point because you know you go on YouTube and you look up like players highlights but I never see you know any players in the WNBA like their highlights specifically like my Google Renee Montgomery or like Candace Parker there's like few compared to you know plays in the league where there's like pages and pages of highlights so I think that goes 
that's a great point. And it goes a long way because sometimes, you know, people want to see not only the guys, but the women as well, because, you know, it's just a skill. I think it's a hundred percent. I like to make the comparison with football. I mean, you, you see football guys obviously getting endorsement deals, but because you don't see them, right. their helmet and things like that, that's one of the most watched sporting events ever in the NFL. And some of these guys don't get, you know, these type of deals because you don't physically see their face. And so that's how it is across the board. If you don't see something, you're not going to support it and you're not going to, you know, put your money behind it. You're not going to go buy products and things like that. So a lot of it is putting us on television so that people can see and, and get to know us and fall in love with the storyline. For sure. And then lastly for you, um, I know St. Jude is a, you know, big part of your heart, especially, I know you love the kids. So talk to us about like, you know, that relationship with the hospital. Well, I'm really excited um, to be a part of just trying to, to raise as much money for St. Jude as possible. Um, my daughter actually was the first to really, really support that charity. Um, you know, she gets a, a weekly allowance and monthly she, she donates money uh, to whatever charity she wants. And she constantly is doing St. Jude. I mean, just constantly donating. And um, she had a slime business this past summer when we were in the bubble and she a portion of the proceeds went to St. Jude. So that's just been a charity that has uh, been close to home. And I love kids. I love children in any way that I can help. Uh, I, I definitely want to continue doing that. Cool. And, you know, us at Finish Line and JD, uh, we want to support you and your daughter and what you're doing and supporting St. Jude. So we want to make a donation of 20,000 on your behalf to go to the kids and all the work and research they've been doing. So, you know, Shout out to you. Thank, to you. Thank you so much. I mean, so much. And um, I appreciate what you guys are doing. And um, everyone out there, if you guys want to support, uh, you can go to St. Jude's website. And I guarantee you will fall in love with their mission. Sure. And um, I want to shout out your team as well for making this happen. Especially like it happened just so quick, like a pretty quick turnaround. So shout out to them as well. And yeah, I know you're a busy woman. You got things to do, TNT and all that. So I'll let you know have the closing remarks. I appreciate it. Um, I hope to to see you at a game this summer. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look for you at a game if there's fans allowed. I'm gonna look for you to come and support and uh, and all that. But we're excited to get this basketball season going. NBA is going great. All professional sports are gonna be playing at the same time, which is I don't think it's ever happened before. Um, so it's gonna be exciting summer for the fans. You know, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to go right to Chicago. All right. Bet. <laughs> Jersey hanging in the back, too. I got CP. I got Melo, D-Wade. So I need that. Need, yeah, we got to get you a, a Candace Parker jersey. Absolutely. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much for, you know, taking your time here to be a part with us today. So No problem. Cool. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And next week we have me.